Hi, I'm Farmer Brad, and today's video is sponsored by Dale's Quails. Go to Dale's Quails for all your quail supply needs. Dale's Quails sent over this uh, cage for me to put, uh, put together. So this is the unboxing and assembly video. Let's take a look in, into this. Let me get everything out of here so we can sort of get a lay of the land. <laughs> and this is pretty awesome. He uh, sent uh, <coughs> the screws and wood glue needed for the assembly. And this is a modified feeder uh, so that uh, it minimizes the amount of waste that uh, quail would waste uh, with the feed. And here's the instructions. And that looks like the doors. Yeah, so this already has the hardware on there uh, for the cage and the legs. Now this is very crucial. Uh, this is the floor mat, but uh, you have to orient it a certain way in order for the eggs to uh, roll down. So, uh, but this is very nice. It's uh, poly or it's uh, the PVC coated. Uh, floor uh, fencing. So let me dive into the instructions and see what the first step is. Okay, so I'm going to start with the uh, back of the cage. And you want to look for the ones that have D on them. These are going to be the connectors. Okay, so since this is a single tier, it will not have the tier supports, uh, which will be used for connecting multiple ones together. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue, uh, glue these dowels on. And you'll want to give it 24 hours for the glue to dry.
Okay, the next step is to put this part on here. This is the doors. So you want to glue up all the dowel rods. You want to make sure that the hardware is facing down. That way, it uses gravity to keep these doors closed. Now this is part G. Let me make sure I get this oriented correctly. So this will go here, and this will be where you lift it up in order to retrieve the quail eggs. And yeah, so this will work nicely to keep that part covered. To keep the eggs from getting dirty. Okay, so now comes time to cage bottom in. And you want to make sure that uh, the wire here is on top so that it will help the eggs roll down. slide it in here. So yeah, that slides in on the underneath side of there, and that will get attached. Okay, now I need to get my uh, stapler. So I have a narrow crown uh, stapler, and this is really the best recommended way to uh, nail down, nail down um, hardware cloth or fencing like this. Let 
make sure that this comes all the way here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and staple along this side. Oh, I gotta turn down the PSI. And if you have any excess, you'll want it to hang off the back because you can trim that off the back. And I'm going to do this side and make sure that it's all squared up. And you want this really secured because this is the going to create the strength on this uh, cage. Of the, for the flooring. And then since I got the wire pushed all the way up to here, I'm gonna flip this over. And then secure this to that part. I'll start in the middle. And just work my way out. Okay, now I need to secure it on the front. Now this part is kind of hard because it doesn't go down as far. Okay, so that, that helps a little bit. Let's see. Okay, since uh, 
this board on the bottom here is uh, fairly fairly thick. Um, I can go ahead and angle this. Okay, that is nice and secure. And let me go grab a quail egg and show you how this rollout nest box part will work. Okay, so this is an egg roll test. Now they'll they'll be moving around on this, so it will eventually. Uh, Roll, roll down as, as they're walking. And then you lift that up to get the eggs. So that's how that will work. So now I just need to add this top wire. And this will also help with uh, rigidity of the cage.
Okay, that is very nice on the top. Now uh, to put the legs on. Okay, so on the other side I already put the legs on and this side I need to staple this on here. And what I like to do is have the wire towards the bottom. That way there's less chance of the staple pushing through the wire. So just line it up, make sure you get good coverage on it. And then uh, Now I would recommend getting shorter uh, staples so there'd be less likely of going through all this stuff, but you can also kind of angle it so it doesn't go as deep. Okay, so that's all secure. Now I'm going to attach the legs. Now you'll want to have this dowel rod hole opening uh, to the back. And just a sanity check, you put that there, and you put that there, and the legs should be roughly the same length. And each side has uh, the holes to the outside of the cage. So this one, the holes are to the outside. And I'm uh, just putting it in with a uh, hand screwdriver. That way I don't crack the wood. And I would definitely not use a uh, powered uh, drill because um, it could strip it out. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip it on its top. So I flipped it upside down and that is so I can go ahead and add these leg stabilizers. Make sure to put a lot of the glue 
on there. And then a little bit around there as well. So that one's on there. And I'll actually just uh, go ahead and add a staple through here. Just to help keep it in place while it dries. And I'm making sure to miss the dowel, dowel rod. And then I do the same on the back. Okay, so I should be able to flip it over. And that is one sharp looking quail cage. Now these are uh, two pieces uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and staple them into here and that will uh, help to support the tray. So just space it out. And then I'll flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. So then these uh, trays end up sliding in there, like so. And uh, you can put wood sh uh, shavings on them uh, to collect the poop. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is add uh, a drinker and uh, a speed trough. Now, currently inside the quail room, I have my water on that side, and then I'll have my feeder on this side. So I need to figure out where to cut 
in order to uh, get this hooked on. So let me show you what I did uh, with this feeder. Is I cut down here right along the wood and it looks like it's one, two, three high with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that gives enough room for this to slide in there. I also wanted to show you that uh, Dale's quails, they added this little flap here and that helps uh, prevent uh, feed loss uh, from the quail flinging it around. Uh, so in the instructions, they recommend on the back, but with my setup, um, I'd like to push these fairly to the back. And so I'll put the water on that side, the feed on this side. Now he included this uh, tubing and this uh, water cup. So I can go ahead and put this on this side. Okay, after looking at the sheet, it looks like the uh, water tube goes here and, and then we tighten this up on there and that makes it secure with the fencing, the hardware cloth. And we tighten that down. Okay, so I looked at it and this uh, zip tie is for securing this What you do is you loop that over top of it and then you bring it down. Make sure it's in the right orientation. There we go. And then I'll get a uh, bucket and then we'll sit it up here, fill it up, and then we'll get some quail in here. So I went ahead and Attach this adapter that came with it. I used a 5 16th uh, drill bit and pushed it out this way and then turned the threads on the rubber gaskets on the inside. And then I'll go ahead and put that hose clamp on there and then push this on there. And that's a barbed fitting. Okay, with that on there, then I'll go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, let's uh, test it out with uh, some quails. Okay, so I have this water filled up here. And when they push on that yellow tab in there, it fills up with water. Now I'm going to get some uh, sawdust for these trays and then get some food in there and then I'll put the quail in. Okay, I've chopped off the feeder. I have pine shavings down below in the trays. Topped up water, now to add the quail. We've got three of the quail in there so far. So the quail are in here. And so then I'll flip this open when it's time to gather the eggs and flip that down. Yeah. 
This is Farmer Brad, and thanks for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'd like to give a special shout out to Dale's Quails. Thank you so much for sending this. Uh, check out their website, uh, dalesquails.com, and I'll put uh, additional links in the description of this video uh, to where you can get your own single tier uh, quail cage. Now the thing I liked about it is some of the parts already were assembled partially. Uh, the individual pieces you have to put together, uh, but it does save some time. So this, I would say that this would be great for any person starting out with quail uh, because it gives you the ideal, uh, the ideal sizing for the cages. Uh, I, I've been researching out there and this pretty much uh, covers all of the requirements for uh, raising quail. Uh, and this rollout nest box is really nice and then this helps protect it from uh, things getting in there to the eggs. And this cage here should be able to hold up to 12 quail. Uh, ideally two males and 10 females would give you the ideal ratio of one to six. Um, and they make uh, three tier uh, cages as well so it's pretty much like this but uh, three more and they stack upon each other um, actually if you'll notice here the three tier comes with an H brace uh, that will be able to uh, connect the cages uh, so I really appreciate Dale's Quails for sending this over uh, make sure to check it out uh, and as always now is a great time to homestead take care